Regardless if it's in a bottle or can, I'm going to be reviewing a beer today, guys. So, guys, that's what I got. A goober. An uber goober. <laughs> uh, this is by the Shorty Brewing Company out of Ounce Rapids. And it's an oatmeal stout made with peanuts. And I've never had one of these. And apparently this is gluten free so I just thought that was kind of unique so yeah and cheers it's definitely smooth it's really smooth it really goes good down I have a nice feel to it Tastes a little bit of peanut, but I think I'm getting more of that oatmeal to it though. And I want to say it's kind of, I don't know. It's just one of those weird things. I've never had a, not knowingly, as far as I know of. I'd have to go back and look at my shows, but I think this is the first time I've ever had a Imperial Oatmeal Stout. I mean, unless I did it, unless the CBS I did is an oatmeal stout, which I can't remember at this point, which <coughs> let's see here. Okay, no, it doesn't. It doesn't show that it's a oatmeal stout here. So the CBS, no. But as far as I can tell, this is the first time I've had a oatmeal stout made with peanuts on the show. Now these guys are based in Elk Rapids, Michigan. Okay, and they've got a pub. I think it's in Bel Air, Michigan. So. Uh, you can check them out on Facebook. I think they're on Twitter. So, uh, I've never heard of these guys until I started doing this beer show. I mean, a lot of these beers I've never heard of until I started doing this beer show and started looking these guys up. So, I mean, like I said, this is a 8.3 APV. Uh, yeah, 8.3 APV and a 30 IBU. And... For those that don't know what an IBU is, it's an international bitterness unit. Okay, now this is some strong stuff. Now, <clears throat> yeah, I can kind of taste that alcohol in there a little bit. You can kind of taste that alcohol in there. So, I mean, this is one of them ones that you want to take it easy with with the drinking I know I will be so it's just one of them things uh, it's kind of like that expedition stout that I did I drank one four pack and I was done those for that and that, that bourbon age barrel beer expedition stout was killing me that night man so that was like a 13 point something so it was a uh, Let's see here 13.6 yeah that was a 13.6 so I've got two four packs that I'm sitting in my basement and them bourbon aged barrel beers that are good forever this I'm not too quite sure about but uh, I haven't seen any uh, like I'm guessing this can be good forever for a while given the high APV and you know I've got to say it's one of them things where <clears throat> it's good I mean it's good and uh, I want to give this one a uh, uh, 
eight, an eight rating. Then again, I've always been into these dark beers. I try to lay off of these because I get a little crazy. It's one of them wacky things. So I know I'm not going to be doing no shots tonight. So it's just one of them things where the APV is so high, you don't need to do shots. So what I say, I was giving this an eight. So, yeah, this is another Michigan base beer, and I don't know, I, I'm not saying this is a start of another series, but if I think I'm going to do a series, I think I'm going to do these guys again, but I've got another beer, I don't know how many fresh beers I could get to these guys, I know this one's still good for the show today, so that's a plus, and I kind of find the um, uh, cap unique. See that cap? <coughs> so, it's little feet or legs from the waist down. So, you know, I'm giving this one an eight. So, like I've always said, you know, drink responsibly. Don't do nothing stupid. Peace out, brother man. Peace out, sister girl. I'll see you next time on the PC's Peer Review.